Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. It's a beautiful day here oh, in Medellin. It, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. That's true love right there. We're we, not off to a good start today. <laughs> it is almost 3 p.m., I think. Yeah, did I say good morning? Yeah. I meant good afternoon. good afternoon. I say that every time. We got a little late start. We had to do a live stream this yeah. morning, but we do we, we do private live streams for our channel members and our Pat Patreon members. So if you'd like to join those live streams, you can head to the link in the description below. But we kind of <laughs> forgot about it until we saw the notification that it was in three hours. We we're like, oh shoot. Yeah, then, so it kind of threw off our plans for today. We were supposed to get out, do a free walking tour and take you guys all over. Obviously that's not happening. We've had a lot of issues with public transportation yeah. here. It's, it's just, pouring down rain on and us. And now as well. we got out finally and it's pouring on us. But yeah. we're here. We're, we're at the botanical garden here. We yeah. didn't bring an umbrella and I I had a poncho, well, but I, I left it at home. The one day I leave it at home. Beautiful blue skies where we were when we yeah. left and then all of a sudden this cropped up. So I'm hoping it'll be a quick little shower. It might clear up though. It's looking yeah. pretty bright over here. I think we're gonna be good. All right, let's check out these gardens. Looks like we found everyone who's visiting today. They're all taking shelter under this awesome art piece. I think we will be joining them. <laughs> found this little uh, pond and there's a bunch of little ducks down here and turtles fighting over all the food people are giving them. It's pretty it's adorable. Pretty cute, yeah. God, some of these turtles are huge though. They're cool. One of the most interesting facts about Colombia that I've learned is that it's actually the second most biodiverse country in the world, second only to Brazil. Also, I was reading that it's actually nicknamed the city of eternal spring because the climate is so nice here and temperate, which is totally true. It's lovely here. It gets up into the 70s during the day, but it's mm -hmm. got a lot of cloud coverage from the mountains and everything. Yeah. When it's not raining, I when can tell you, it's great, raining. but when it's raining, not as good. After uh, being in Cancun where it was very, very hot, this is feeling wonderful. They also have an annual flower festival. Flowers are a huge deal here in Medellin. I think in Colombia in general, I think they're one of the largest producers of just like cut flowers. So people are always selling them on the street and all kinds of stuff. And you see people walking with big bundles of flowers. Yeah, if we were here longer, I'd get some for our apartment. Yeah. But sadly, for last day. We popped over to the butterfly house, but sadly it is closed today. They say they're doing some research and it'll be back open soon. So hopefully it'll be open if you come here. It looks really cool. I can see all the butterflies I fluttering know. around in there. They do have a lot on the outside, but probably not as many as on, are on the inside. Well, that was a nice little stroll, but starting to get a little, little late in the day. We want to head to the market while there's still light. Did we say we were going to a market? Yeah, well, it's kind of more of a food court thing, yeah. I think. But, but there's a dish in particular that we really want to try. Yes, it will have all of the food in it and I'm very excited. Yeah, so we'll see you there. So the transportation is super simple. We just got a ticket there and then they gave us this card. It and was super affordable. It was a 2,600 pesos per person, which is a less yeah. than a dollar USD. Also, it's very loud in here. Sorry. It's really loud. But they only gave us one card. Are we supposed to do the same one twice? Huh. No idea. I'm not sure. Let's figure it out. Okay. I guess I just do it again. How do I do it? Okay, apparently I put it in here like this. This guy's got me. Oh, okay. Ah, I see us. We figured it out. We've arrived to the Mercado del Rio. And this place is really nice, you guys. It's yep. super swank. I guess I knew they were gonna have a lot of really cool restaurants, but I didn't quite realize like how fancy it is. It's yep. very pretty in here. It's a bit posh, but it is full of locals, it seems, so. Yeah. yeah, and we are actually gonna get a local dish up in here. We might get some extra goodies, though. I think there are over 50 little restaurants or stalls in here. It's really cool. You can find pretty much anything you desire from coffee to booze to sweets to food. Wine. Oh lots yeah. Of wine. All of it. We came to a restaurant in the Mercado called El Rancherito. 
And this restaurant was on a list of one of the best places to get the dish that we're wanting to try. But there's actually another location that was a little bit of a ways away from where we are right now. This one was just a bit more convenient. Hopefully there isn't much of a quality difference, I don't know. It actually says since 1975, so it's been around for a while. We've already put in our order. We've already got a couple beers, as you've seen. And hopefully it's pretty good. I think El Rancherito actually might have way more than two locations. I think it was saying nine. So it looks like you can go to this restaurant all over the city. Woo! Holy cow, check this out. <laughs> Our food has arrived and I am so excited. We definitely ordered too much, but that's okay. We're up for the challenge. So this is the bandeja paisa, which is a local dish for this area, the Northwest region of Colombia. It is made up of ground beef back here, some rice, a plantain, some beans under there, a big old egg, some sausages, and chicharrones. Well, I was reading that back in the day, this was uh, a meal that workers would have eaten to stay full while they're out all day. Now, I think it's just something delicious, I don't know, to gorge yourself on. <laughs> well, I mean, it looks pretty delicious. Maybe I'm just too hungry, oh I don't know. Oh my God, <laughs> we had breakfast at around 9 a.m. today, that's all we've had, and now it's after 5 p.m., so we are so hungry and so ready. But we also got some petacones, which these are smashed and deep-fried plantains. Oh, they're really hard, but this is one of our favorite dishes that we discovered in Costa Rica, so we get them. When we see them on the menu, we pretty much get them every time. Yep. Even though we're probably not gonna be able to finish them, but we'll take them with us. We'll take them with us. I think they'll reheat well. I think I'm gonna try these chicharrones first. Whoa, this, whoa, crazy crunchy, holy cow. Wow, that is so friggin' crunchy. Ooh. Did you hear it crunch him? Oh. Real crunchy. If you're a vegetarian, this is like the worst thing because it's just the deep fried fat and it just melts apart in your mouth. It's so delicious. Very crunchy though. It's so weird how soft this is versus how crunchy this part is. But it's really good, really tasty. Do you want to give this uh, sausage a try or something? Yeah, I was about to say, I don't actually know what types of sausages these are. So, let's see if I can figure it out by taste. I'm scared that this one's going to have blood in it since it's so dark. Should I try the other one? No, no I'm too far in. I feel like it's just seasoned rice. I just... I don't know if there's even meat in there. Maybe it's just blood and rice <laughs> and seasoning. <laughs> And our final little dish here is a little, it, they called it a cazuela traditional, but this is a little cazuela, I believe, that it's cooked in, but it looks like it's beans, some shredded meat, maybe pork, little, these look like little potato chips on top, uh, chicharrones again, or chicharrones, uh, avocado, and then another arepa. So we got all sorts of goodies on there. I think I got a little bit of everything on there. It's just like stewed beans with some pulled pork, I believe, on top. These were plantains, a nice little sweetness. And these are just like shoestring fries or like potatoes. It gives it such a nice little crunch. I'm imagining with the chicharron over here, it'll be really yummy. Well, we're not doing so well, you guys. But we have decided that this dish over here is the best one. There's big chunks of pork in there. I guess it's like the chicharron, but it's soaked up all the juices and it's really tender. Yeah, it's way more tender, I'd say. Less deep fried and more stewed. But yeah, this is, this is my favorite for sure. We also got a couple micheladas, which might be the first one we've had in a long, long time. I can't even remember the last time we had one. Yeah, maybe years. Our friend turned us on to them. No, probably when we were in Mexico, yes. which was, yeah, three years ago or so. The previous time we were in Mexico. Yeah, the first time. Yeah, back at our apartment. So it was a bit of a fail of a day, but overall, it was fun exploring the city a little bit. But we actually really love Medellin, even though it really tried to throw us for a loop. Did I say that earlier? Throw it a wrench. A wrench in our loops. You were talking about wrenches earlier, and now you're talking about loops. Loops. This city is absolutely beautiful. There is so much history here that we didn't really get to dive into. Yeah, but we'll be back. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Tomorrow we're going to be heading out to Guatape, which is going to be some... We're going to get out of the city, and mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be staying at some really cool places out there. Oh, yeah. You're not going to want to miss those videos because we're so excited to see the landscape. I think we're going to pick up this video tomorrow when we're heading out there because we're going to have a little road trip. Mm -hmm. See you there. Good morning. We're at the bus station. Had a nice, easy taxi ride over here, uh -huh. and uh, 
now we are looking for the bus. Yeah, so we are heading to Guatape. We know it's either desk 9 or 14, and we should be able to easily purchase a ticket for pretty affordably and then get out there within two hours. So yeah. that's hopefully it all goes seamlessly. We also need to get something to eat. Luckily, exactly. there are a lot of food options here. Found the counter. We're getting the tickets. Are these the tickets here? Mm -hmm. Nice. When we found the bus, look at this thing. It looks like a fire truck or something. <laughs> And we showed the guy our ticket and then he said something in Spanish and ran off, so I'm not sure what's happening. We found our bus. It was actually super easy. There's just like a little security exit and everything's labeled really well. They didn't actually check our bags or anything though. They had the equipment to do it, but they didn't do it. No, yeah, so they put them on the back, which is nice, and then they have overhead baggage compartments. And it says they have Wi-Fi over there. We'll have to test it out. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, we got some empanadas for breakfast. I'm already thinking I should have gotten the Two. They're pretty small. Yeah, we didn't know how much time we had. <laughs> yeah, and we, we didn't know that we had assigned seats. But yeah. someone's already came on and tried to sell stuff, so maybe they'll have some. Yeah, I do hear that people get on frequently at all the stops and try to sell things, so hopefully we can find some more goodies along the way. Well, sadly, <laughs> these empanadas are not very good. And now it's all over me. Look what I did. Whoa. <laughs> what a dummy. <laughs> the little town of Guatape. The ride was beautiful and it went by really quickly even though it was a little over a couple hours. Sadly, no vendors came on with really exciting food so we were very hungry so we popped into a little cafe right inside the city and I couldn't be more happy with this decision, y'all. They had a whole vegetable bowl here. Look at all the lovely veggies in there. We got some iced coffee. Eric got a beautiful omelet. That I did. Man, it smells amazing. It's gonna be good. Yeah. The place we're staying is actually just a little bit outside of the city. We're gonna be glamping. I guess that's a nice little hint for you guys. I really think it's gonna be one of the coolest places we've ever stayed. So the town that we're in, Guatape, is really cool. I just took a quick stroll around and it's super colorful. There are flowers hanging everywhere. It's really cool. It's got a really fun vibe. We'll see how it is. We'll be coming back to the city in a couple days and staying in here. Turns out they have little tuk-tuks here, and that's what people take to get around. So we're taking that, it's only about a mile or so to the place where we're staying, but super fun, although we're crammed in here. <laughs> Going off road now, but we should be there pretty soon, just down this road. <laughs> Our driver's doing a great job. <laughs> He's telling us, some, trying to tell us some facts about the area in Spanish, but we're doing our best to understand. Exactly. <laughs> we have arrived and we are doing something very cool. We are doing a hand exfoliation with, is it coffee and lime? Si. Oh. Si. Coffee and limon. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> and now you just have to lick it off your hands. You're good. <laughs> We made it, you guys. Oh my goodness. Let me just tell you, this place is pretty dang incredible. Ooh. This is just a little sneak peek because I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna end the video now and then tomorrow we're gonna pick back up here in this place, show you a tour of the place that we're staying because as you can see, it's pretty amazing, but there's so much more to see than just this. Yes. And then we're gonna explore the surrounding area a little bit. It's gonna be very cool. There is tons of stuff to do here. I cannot wait for y'all to see it all. It is like a magical paradise. Yeah, it's it's so cool. But yeah, I think that is going to do it for today. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring Medellin a bit with us and coming along with us on the bus ride. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Oh, we wanted to say, if you want to come out to Guatape, you don't have to stay out here. You can easily do a day trip, but catch the bus at either gate nine or 14 at the 
North Terminal in Medellin, and then it'll take you right out here. It'll drop you right at the rock out here if you mm -hmm. want to go hike that or all the way to Cuatape. And it's only Super a few easy. bucks uh, per ticket. So. Yeah, 15,000 yeah. Colombian pesos, I believe, per yeah. ticket. The bus is the way to do it, I think. Mm -hmm. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.